Okay, so this week is, uh, today is uh, June 9th. Uh, this week is the Databricks Conference in San Francisco. Super excited to go there. Uh, Going to be hanging out a lot with Alteryx this week, talking about how Alteryx and Databricks work really well together. And I thought that before the conference, it'd be good to get this video out so that we can have uh, examples of how to set up the connection between Databricks and, uh, sorry, Databricks is Unity Catalog Volumes and Alteryx Designer Desktop. Now, um, to know this connection that we set up here is just leveraging the token. This isn't any OAuth stuff. This is just like, how do we, what, where do we have to go to find the things that Alteryx asked for when we make this connection? Um, so a lot of good info here. Appreciate everybody coming to check it out. Hope to see you at Databricks. Um, like and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching. All right, so with Alteryx Designer version 24.1, they allowed us to connect now to Databricks to do bulk uploads through Unity Catalog Volumes, which will make this whole process of working with Databricks a lot smoother uh, and a lot quicker. Uh, to note, it's only on 24.1, so normally I would suggest waiting a little bit, but if this is like imperative, I would I you could probably do with uh, with making this uh, making the upgrade to 24.1. Um, I actually have had a few clients that I've told to go to 24.1 specifically for this. So um, this if if Databricks is a viral vital part of your of your workflow and you want to do better things with Alteryx, um, I would suggest going through this connection. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show it to you in Alteryx. Oh, you need access to a few things in Databricks before we even can do this. You need access to uh, to create a token. Um, you need some warehouse information, and then you see volume. You see, yes, you see volume information. Um, and so, not everybody may have the access to do this. But um, if you don't, uh, check with your Databricks admin, and maybe you can. They'll help you out. So let's do this. Let's move this screen. Let's get this screen small. All righty. Alteryx. Okay, so when we're setting up this connection, I like to do it through the setup connection. You can also generally set up connections through this manage connection section, but I'm going to set up a connection here. We're going to go to data source, and now you're going to go down, and you're going to notice you have this Databricks Unity catalog. We select quick connect. I say new. Okay, data source name. We're going to say uh, demo. Uh, yeah, just demo is fine. Uh, actually, demo dbx. Host name. Okay, to find our host name. Oh, sorry, other thing. You need to see Simba Spark ODBC driver. You can get this from Alteryx's website when you go to the download portal. This driver exists for us here. Um, so I went and got that. Note 443 four, 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 is going to be correct for me. Um, HTTP versus HTTPS might be. No, it's always 443. I'm sorry. But we go to our host name. Uh, to find our host name, we have to go to. Server host name. So we go to SQL warehouses. When you get to SQL warehouses, you go to connection details. We're going to grab this server host name. And then we need the HTTP path, which is this right here. All right. Uh, we hit save. So we've now created a data source. The second part here is we need to create a connection. So I connect a, connect a credential. I already have one. Uh, but we're going to, I'm sorry, we're going to create a new one. So no, I got these tokens, but I'm going to create a new token here. So we're going to create a new credential. It's a username and password. The username is going to be, um, credential name is, we're going to call this, uh, DBX, uh, token. And then the username is going to be, name here is token. And then the password is going to be the token we generate. So let's go generate a new token. So. Uh, this is going to be for um, AYX, DBX, we'll just call it that. And I'm going to do this for a day, but I'm probably going to, so I, because I don't want this per, to persist. Everyone else would extend that or whatever your organization's token access policy, you would fit to that. But again, for my, I just want this, I don't want anybody grabbing that token in because I am showing some things here that maybe I shouldn't be, but we're going to drop that anywhere. So anyway, we do this, we create the link. It all exists for us here. I say, boom, I say connect. Cool. Now this is going to be how we make our connection into Databricks. Now that I've got that started, 
I see what warehouse should be up. I'm wondering if that's what's going on. Uh, sorry, is it running? Yep, it's running. There we go. Okay, so it's got all of our uh, tables that exist for me in here. There's also the SQL editor, so you can drop a SQL um, SQL code in here. And I say, okay, that's I don't need to connect anything to right now. That's just getting our connection started. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a sample set of data, and we're just going to I'm we're, we're showing uh, functionality here, not necessarily anything of value. We're just showing how do we get this doing. So I have a sample uh, value with a, a sample field with a value of one in it. And I want to write this data now back to Databricks. So let's say this is like some process we're ending here and this is what we get. So I want to push data back to Databricks. Uh, I found a lot of success using the write data in DB. I'm sorry, the data stream in tool. And so what we're going to do is we're going to create manage connections. And I'm going to, on this, I'm going to go down to Databricks Unity Catalog. Uh, connection type will be user. That's yes, that's what we want to do here. Sorry, this connection for if you're unfamiliar with Altrix um, and NDBC connection, you can either connect this specifically for user. Or you can create a file that's shareable. We're going to use user connections is going to be. We're going to create a new one. So we're going to create a new one. We'll call it uh, DBX demo, and then here's what we're going to do. The driver is going to be our Databricks Unity catalog. The connection we're going to set this up. So we're gonna leverage the demo Databricks connection. We say connect, and that sets up for us. So we're done now. This is gonna be different. So from here, what we're gonna do is we want to do the UC Volumes bulk loader. I'm gonna set up a connection. Now, um, no, this is different. We don't see the connection that we created here. We're gonna create a new connection, and we'll call this uh, DBX out, oops. You're, so, you're all so intimidating. I have a hard time uh, typing well all the time. So let's go into here. We're going to go back. So SQL warehouses. Uh, I click on starter warehouse. We'll show you how to navigate to that. I go to my host name. This is the same stuff we grabbed earier. Host name. This is a Spark ODBC driver. Fairly certain I mentioned this, but the, you can get this from Alteryx's website. The HTT path is this. So a lot of the same information we already had. Now I go to my catalog. What I need is uh, the catalog name, which is just going to be this Databricks workspace stack for a 25 for us. So I drop that in here. My schema is going to be default. Let's go back here to show that. Um, so Databricks stack default. I was on that screen because this volume full path is what we really need from this section. I'm gonna go grab this. We're going to drop that into the uh, full pass section here. I hit save. Then we have to create a connection. I'm actually just going to leverage the connection I already created. Um, yes, username and password. Now, of course, if you're doing any of these other sorts of connections, it's going to be a little bit different. But again, just kind of showing you how this part works. I go to my DBX token, which I just created. I say link. I say connect. Boom. OK. Cool, so that connection is set up. I hit apply, we say okay. And then we're just gonna create a temporary table. No, no, this only allows us to create a temporary table or create a whole brand new table or overwrite a table that already exists, dropping and then recreating. Uh, let's create a new table here for our sample and what we'll do is uh, dbx, oops. Yeah, see I can't type dbx video uh, out. We'll just call it that. I say okay, um, we're gonna leave that as is. Now to note, we're gonna run this. It, this is, again, we're just kind of showing this basic, how do we make, set this connection up? If, uh, I'm probably gonna do a separate video where we talk about doing things that would be more, um, DTL, uh, I can't remember what the phrase is in Databricks at the moment, but where we're, uh, Delta, Delta Live Tables, Delta Live Tables. So uh, where, you know, we do this whole ETL process within, um, Databricks, I'll show that in a separate video, but essentially from here, what we would do once this is written out, essentially it's writing there right now to that location, we would then have a write data in DB tool, which allows us for a little bit more functionality, like merging tables and um, appending to a table. Uh, so this is, again, just the, how do we get the data up there? That's the, the bulk loading is a really important part. I must have a really slow connection today because I couldn't connect 
quickly on the front end and this is taking a long time to set this up but okay there we go so um no it created the table it created a copy into and then it dropped all of this in here with the copy into uh i'll show you this right to data so what you can do essentially you have these other options you have append existing you have merge tables um, etc and then you would just point to the table you're making the adjustments on but that's how this works that's how our um databricks uh, Unity catalog connection works. It's a lot faster. The old way was um, for bulk loading, sorry, specifically for bulk loading, the old way was like you had to go through S3 or ADLS or something like that. And that was just a, a pain in the butt to set up. So uh, this is a lot easier for individual users to manage, especially if they have the access to like creating tokens or their own, or they have access to Unity catalog. Well, if they have all the access essentially that I saw, it's a lot easier to do this. Um, so yes, everybody, thank you for joining. I hope to see you this week at Databricks, uh, their, and their conference in San Francisco. And uh, everyone, have a great day. Let me know. Drop, a, drop some comments down if you have any questions uh, or reach out to me directly on LinkedIn, Trace and Marks, um, or Trace and at demarconsultinggroup.com. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions. Thanks a lot. Bye.